welcome back to the golf house if you've been here before if you're new welcome I'm so glad you're here today is the last video I'm doing in the series of the home canned pantry challenge put on by Linda over at Linda's pantry and Lisa over at Sutton's days and I am going to be making chicken taquitos and not only are we gonna make the taquitos but we are going to make them with a consomme to dip them in so delicious normally when I make this you know you have to cook the chicken to make the stock and then you have to slow cook you know the onions and the garlic and everything in with it we are gonna do a quick version today with our home canned chicken let me show you how I'm gonna make it all right I'm just cleaning peppers right now I have two ancho chilies and then I have three New Mexico chilies and I'm just gonna use mild today so pop the top off and dump out your seeds don't want those seeds they will make it bitter if you haven't watched my enchilada sauce video you should and then last one here those are really trapped in this one all right so we're not going to make a huge amount of this, so I'm not using that much. I have two Anaheims. I have three New Mexico mild chilies. I have six cloves of garlic, and it's because I love garlic, so I make it a little bit more garlicky, and I have one white onion. This is about a medium onion quartered. Water is boiling. I'm going to throw in my garlic. Throw in my onion. I'm going to throw in my chilies. the lid back on turn it off I'm gonna time this exactly 15 minutes you don't want to soak your peppers for longer than 15 minutes because they get super super bitter I know this because I have made this mistake before <laughs> I forgot I'm also gonna add in some um, Mexican oregano so that's a good teaspoon of Mexican oregano I like to put that in first so when we puree it and strain it, it gets all mixed in. Okay, in this pan, I have the broth that I saved from a couple other chicken jars this week. <laughs> I'm gonna open this chicken. And I'm gonna drain some of the broth off, or drain all the broth off in here. I'm gonna put this in a bowl and I'm just gonna shred it. Tortillas still have to be dragged through the hot coconut oil because look, they're not real pliable. So you stick them in the hot coconut oil. Just a couple seconds on each side till they get warm, oiled, and pliable. You don't want them frying on you. And you bring them over here. And this is just the canned chicken. And I'm going to very carefully roll up the canned chicken. Um, ew, this one broke a little bit. You can put cheese in them if you want. I'm not putting cheese in these. So I'm going to go ahead and fill my tray up and I'll be back when uh, this tray is full. Okay, there's my toquitos. They are in the oven and I've got them on 375. There's my blender. This is my bowl of, you can see it, all my peppers, onions, all the good stuff. I'm going to put it in here. I took it out of the water right at 15 minutes. I didn't want it to get bitter, so I'm going to put them in here. This is just going to flavor our broth. And we're not doing a ton of broth because this is just the consomme that we're going to dip our tacos in. I have two chicken bouillon cubes. I'm going to put these in. I am going to put mm, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of cumin in. I don't really want a ton, just a little bit. And I'm going to add just a tiny bit more Mexican oregano. Because that is my favorite flavor. I've got one glass of water. It's like 16 ounces. I'm going to pour the whole thing in here. 
this is fresh filtered water. Okay. You can blend this down. Okay, we've got our beautiful broth. I'm gonna strain it. And then I'm gonna taste it, make sure. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more water too. Yeah, more water. All right. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. You can leave the solids in. I don't like them, and I don't like seeds. <laughs> in case there were a seed left in there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. I wish you could smell my kitchen on most days. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pour more water in. So this is another quart of water. I just wanna make sure there is enough broth for everybody because you want a big, nice cup of this um, to dip your tacos in and to put toppings in. Um, you can also, at this point, you can pop in carrots and potatoes. but we are doing a quick version today, so we are not doing the carrots and potatoes. We are gonna put these in cups and we're gonna to top it with cilantro, onions, cabbage. Splashing. All right, <clears throat> so this is the pulp that we're, we end up with. Um, mixture of peels, seeds, you don't want that stuff in there. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and then I'm just gonna turn the heat down and let it simmer until our tacos are done. I'm just gonna make the toppings. I'm gonna put in two more. I forgot I put an extra quart of water in. Two more chicken bouillons in go are going in here. Okay, here's the lineup of toppings. I just put it all on a cutting board. I have Monterey Jack cheese. I'm out of uh, queso fresco and queso cotija. Otherwise, I would have had those two out. I've got cabbage, I have avocados, I have limes, and I have green onion. Um, oh, I gotta grab out some cilantro too. And then I have some um, crema. Sour, if you have sour cream, you can use sour cream if you wanna thin it out with um, half and half, you can do that and it's super delicious. I am going to get out the cilantro and then I'm gonna show you how we eat it. Okay, so I am going to put, I've got my toquito there. I'm gonna put some of the consomme in my cup. You want a good deep cup for this. <laughs> now, I'm gonna throw in some cabbage. I'm gonna throw in some green onions. Mm. Got my cilantro, some avocado, some cheese. You want to put crema in. Now I have my spoon because it's almost like a soup. But then the crunchy taquito. I love to let it sit in there and absorb some of it. But you want to take a drink of your... So good. Oh, it's got the cheese stuck in it. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. Mmm. Gotta crunch the taquito. Mmm. The 
this is my favorite way to eat a roll, taco or taquita or flauta, however you want to say it. So good. I can't go back. <laughs> All right, that's it for the chicken taquitos. Easy peasy. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have canned chicken, I can't talk. If you have some canned chicken at home, I hope you tried this recipe. Super delicious. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, you should. I post daily what I'm up to around here. <laughs> also, I'm on Facebook. And, and visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.